All right, so here is the deciding moment. Got my 80 volt battery here, and I want to test it on my scooter. The moment I flip the switch, the battery is going to be connected to the controller, and hopefully, there'll be no explosion or smoke. Here we go. Hmm, nothing yet. Let's turn it on. Wow, 82 volts, 82 and a half volts. 45.3 miles per hour. Oh my God, that's crazy. Today I'm going to do some tests on my electric scooter using different battery voltages and capacity. I have my batteries here ranging from 48 volts all the way to 80 volts. I want to test for number one, speed. I want to see how fast each of these go. And number two, distance. I want to see how far they will go. I also want to test on an 80 volt battery to see if it's even possible to run this battery on this electric scooter. If it works, I'm curious to see how fast it can go on an 80 volt battery. So all of these batteries here are power tool battery with the exception of this big battery, battery. Uh, this is a lithium ion golf cart battery. Uh, all of these are made by Cobalt. This one is made by Greenworks. But by the look of it, I would say it's also uh, made by the same manufacturer. So previously I upgraded my scooter with a new controller so it can take any battery voltage from 48 volts all the way to 60 volts. And this is the same controller I have inside the scooter. And uh, even though it's advertised to work uh, from 36 to 48 volts, let me show you the label here. It's laser etched onto the aluminum which is pretty cool. Uh, I tested it, but it only works from 48 all the way to 60 volts. Um, it doesn't work at 36 volts at all because the cutoff voltage is at 41 volts. So I cannot even use any 36 volt battery on this one. And this is a very good controller. I have run about 100 miles uh, with my scooter on this controller and never have any problem at all. The thing I like about this controller is it's very flexible. It can run from 48 all the way to 60 volts. And one thing I love about this is that it has cruise control. So this wire here, the orange and the black wire is for cruise control. Without this cruise control feature, um, it's nearly impossible to ride a scooter in the cold because my finger would get numb and fall out by the end of the ride. And on this scooter, I also upgraded with an external battery mount, so I can mount any battery uh, externally uh, on this mount. And I also upgraded the motor with a Xiaomi M365 motor. This motor is a little bit better than the one that came stock with this scooter. So those are the upgrades that make this test possible. Also, in my previous review video, I did a test on this big battery, 12S, 48 volt battery pack, and I get a maximum speed of about 22 miles per hour, and 20 miles up range. This big battery, 48 volt pack, is almost the same as my homemade 10 amp hour, 48 volt cobalt battery pack here. It's composed of two 24 volt cobalt power tool batteries, and it's also a 12S battery pack. The only difference between the two batteries is capacity. Uh, this one is 10 and half amp hour. This one is 10 amp hour. So they're almost identical. And because I already have test result with this battery for 8 volt pack, I'm going to skip the 48 volt test and I'm just going to do the test with 60 volts and 80 volts. I cannot do the 40 volt test because the voltage cutoff on this controller it's 41 volts. All right, got my 60 volt battery installed. And voltage right now, 61.9 volts. This battery is full. Let's try the no load test. Let me see how fast it goes when the battery is not under load. 
34 miles per hour. Here we go, 60 volt battery test. And we set the odometer to zero. Wow, that's fast. 17 already. 20. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Twenty-six point three miles per hour. Twenty-seven. Wow. <laughs> Twenty-seven point two miles per hour. That fast. We're at 11 miles now, and my battery is 49.9 volts under low, 49.8 volts now. So I think I'm gonna have to stop here. All right, so here we are at the end of the test with the 60 volt 5 amp hour battery. Battery voltage is 51.3 volts at rest. So when it was under load, it was below 50 volts, so uh, it's a good time to stop because it only has about, I would say, 10% left. This battery is 15S, so at 50 volts, that's about 3.3 volts per cell, so it only has about 10% left. And the range, we get about 11.1 .1 miles. All right, so here is the deciding moment. Got my 80 volt battery here and I want to test it on my scooter. Problem is, the controller can only take up to 63 volts. So this is way over the limit of the controller and also way over the limit of the motor. It does work fine with my 60 volt battery. So I just hope I will work with my 80 volts fingers crossed I have already connected the wire but it's not connected to the controller yet because I have a switch here the moment I flip the switch battery is going to be connected to the controller and hopefully there will be no explosion or smoke here we go hmm nothing yet let's turn it on Wow, 82 volts, 82 and a half volts. That's cool. I'm curious to see what the no load speed is. So let's give this a try. Forty-five point three miles per hour. Oh my god, that's crazy. I'm lifting the wheel up. There we go, 45 miles per hour. Man. Here we go. This is speed test on 80 volt battery. Battery voltage right now, 82.2 volts. Wow, good acceleration. 16 miles per hour, 17, 18. 20 31 22 23 23 miles per hour 24 Well, this test with this 80 volt battery is a total disappointment. 
I was hoping for it to go for at least like 35 miles per hour because the no load test was 45 miles per hour, right? But the faster it can go is just 24 miles per hour. It accelerates very quickly at the beginning, but then it slows down the more I push down on the throttle. It's even slower than my previous test with the 60 volt battery. I think the limiting factor here is the controller. It's only rated for 48 volts, so pushing all the way to 82 volts is probably a little bit too much. I say I'm lucky it doesn't burn up in a puff of smoke. It's still working now, so that's a good thing. I was able to do three speed tests and ran about two miles on it, and it did not burn up. So I reckon it's still a success, even though it's a failed success. So over here I made a little table to sum up my test. With the 48 volt 10 amp hour battery, I get maximum speed 22 miles per hour, distance 20 miles. With 60 volt 5 amp hour, I get maximum speed 27 miles per hour, and distance travel 11 miles. This battery here, even though it has half the uh, amp hour compared to the 48 volts, it's not really half the capacity because of the higher voltage. If this was 10 amp hour, same as that, then the capacity of this battery, 60 volt battery, it would be 20% more capacity compared to this. And therefore it should have 20% more distance, right? Which would be about 12 miles, not 11 miles. And that's because the faster you go, the less efficient it is going to be because of wind resistance. There's no best choice here. Uh, if you want to go further, then you have to travel a little bit slower. If you want to go faster, then you can't travel as far. And finally, with the 80 volt test, all I can say is I was lucky neither my controller nor my motor burnt out. That's all I have for now, folks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.